everybody. Welcome. We are going to talk a little bit about machine embroidery and uh, lots of different options for machine embroidery from small areas to big areas, color screens, not color screens, on-screen editing, not on-screen editing. So it just kind of depends where you want to go and how much money you want to spend, obviously. Um, we have, in our store, we have machines that start out with a four by four stitch area, about this big, and go all the way up to, this one can do 13 eight by 14 two, so monster. This hoop is a eight by, eight by uh, 14 inch hoop. And so as you can see, it's, pretty decent size. This design that's stitching is actually this design. And so it just uh, does its own thing. I programmed it in. Hooked on my hoop. Hit my start stop button. Drops down, cuts my thread, and away she goes. And no, she knows where she's going. Don't have to steer anything. I, Got this running, went, took off, and went back to my booth and talked to the people there in my booth for a few minutes, and came back, and it was just still doing its thing. This particular design has 27,870 stitches in it. it my machine's going to stitch it in a little over an hour's time. I can slow the speed down, and the most machines have this button that, I can, that, that you can slow your machine down. So now this design says it's going to take two hours and 43 minutes. So probably not the best thing in the world to have your machine running really slow, unless you're having, in my booth I had it running really slow so I didn't have to change my samples out so often, you know. But it's kind of nice just to be able to change my speed, just let it get rip, rip snorting and let it do its thing. On most designs, I'll give you this one as an example, there's color stops. And so it's programmed in to stop to let you change your color. Most machines are going to give you recommendations. Says, oh, we'll put blue in next or put red in next. The joy of embroidery is you can put any color in you want. Most machines have a sensor to say it knows it's got the thread in, but it doesn't know what color thread it is. So if you're trying to match some strange home decor color, or I always tell the gals when they come in the store, if you if you bought this wonderful pair of pants on sale, but it's kind of a wacko color, you can't find anything to match it, get yourself a plain top and embroider. We've got 356 different colors of thread in the store. We can match up to that crazy pant color and you can have a beautiful outfit and all matching. So it makes it pretty easy. Our software lets us design and combine and type and put lettering together, resize designs. So if you're a quilter and you want to make your own quilt labels, you can design it, make an applique out of it, stitch it on the backs of your quilts. It's permanent, a lot better than an ink pen, and becomes a design element. Or if you want to put it on the front of your quilt and make it into a design element to make a baby quilt, put their birthday on there, how much they weighed, what time of day they were born, customize it. That gift will never get thrown away, it'll never get sold in a garage sale. And dad can always remember when the kid's born because he can go look at the quilt, if nothing else, you know. So if you've got people in your house that can't remember dates, that's, <laughs> that's a good way to do it. So you can make quilt blocks if you want to make your own quilts like we had here. This is a quilt made it's from a company called Hoop Sisters. These are eight inch blocks sewn together and all quilted all done on the embroidery machine. You just sew, trim them up, sew them up, and away you go. So that this, this particular pattern is called feathered, no, it's called Jacobian Journey. And if you do the whole pattern, it'll make up to a queen size comforter. So you would be stitching for a little while, but it's a lot of fun. This is another part of this quilt. This is the outside borders. And so this little twisty part, you would make the squares and go all the way around the quilt and then the border goes on it and you can buy separate borders so you can really make it very, very large. That's whole cloth. 
So if you don't want to have extra fabric in there and make appliques, you can just stitch it. This is two colors of thread. Change the color twice and away it goes. So I can basically almost walk away from it like I did here. Just hook your thread up and away you go. We use a pre-wound bobbin for our embroidery and hopefully all of you do too if you're embroidering. It goes much, much farther. There's 70, 80,000 stitches on a bobbin, whereas if you wind your own bobbin, it gets about a third of that much. And so when you're doing a design with 27,000 stitches in, I don't want to have to change my bobbin part way through this. This is an hour and a half of stitching for each square. I don't want to have to stop and change my bobbin through that. I just want to be able to keep it going. So that's a Free well bobbins are wonderful. They're a 70 weight thread, very, very fine. You don't want to embroider with the same weight thread that you're embroidering with on the top, which is a 40 weight. You want to have that thinner on the bottom so that there's no bulk on the back side. You don't need the bulk back there, so why have it? And it's much more expensive to run. You can make home deck projects. This was all stitched on a water soluble. This is lace, so this is all freestanding. There's no fabric up here, leaf, or the little curling are all just thread. And the rest of it is a fabric applique. There's a little hole in the bottom, so you can put a little candle in there, and it looks just adorable. Judy's made four of them already. So she's going to town. You can also embroider for your purses if you'd like. This was embroidered, the corners were embroidered, the tabs were embroidered, the closure was all embroidered, the snap was put on in the embroidery, the whole design was stitched together in the embroidery unit. All you do is sew your side seams and put your, base, uh, your binding on and you're done. Everything else was done in the embroidery unit. Lots and lots and lots of designs out there that are called in the hoop. Everything is done in the hoop, wallets, um, bibs, lots of stuff and they so all your side seams, so sometimes they'll even put the zippers in with your embroidery unit on, and so you don't have to sew at all. It's, so that's a cheater's way of doing it, but it's a fun way to do it, and if you're ch zipper challenged, it's nice to have your embroidery unit do it instead of having to try and get your zippers in on your own. You can also take a sweatshirt and do a makeover. This particular one, I, I, I created the circles in my software using my decorative stitches and then I combined them together to create a whole bunch of new looks. I cut the sleeve apart and stitched down the sleeve, cut the bands off and just made a whole new, whole new look. I'm not a big sweatshirt wearer but I would wear a jacket. So that's just kind of a fun way to redo. The other thing with embroidery is you can always cover up a stain. Got, you know, if you got a stained pair of pants or a stained blouse, and if it's, unless it's over the headlights, um, you know, you can put an embroidery design on it and just cover up the, cover up the mess and keep on wearing it. Got that good recycle thing going on. Home deck again. This was all programmed in. It looks like our decorative stitches on our sewing machine, but they're a whole lot wider than what our sewing machine will generally do. And so this was nine panels all stitched out, sewed together, and so this was, you could make a whole quilt out of this. There was a number of extra designs built in. I just chose to make a pillow, but it's just kind of a fun way to show off pretty stitches and have lots of different fun with different color threads and just make it your own. You can make lace, freestanding lace, stitched on a water soluble, rinse it out in the sink, and you have stuff that's freestanding. You can stitch on organza, make freestanding designs on organza. We're making poinsettias this month in my embroidery club that are freestanding. So you make a wreath, you can make napkin rings, you can make hair bows, you can do whatever you want to with them. But they're just kind of a fun little way to make an ornament. Nice to put in a Christmas card or on a, on a um, get well gift, get, gift well card. Just kind of a fun little add on. They stitch quick, one color, just put the thread in and away you go. Just throw it in the sink when you're done and rinse it out. You can also do your lettering. This one was stitched um, with dry cover up under it, so if you come up after class you can see it. These two 
these two letters were stitched. I, I put a fancy fill in in my software, but the black is shining through. And I put dry cover up down to, to hide the black from shining through. And uh, it disguises that black from coming up through the back. You can also make placemats. You could make them reversible. This one is not, but you could stitch on both sides if you get creative with your binding and have double duty. This is a particular design card that has six different seasons on it. And so it's real quick and easy. I think it's a five by seven design card size. So most people have a five by seven hoop and make up your own little customized placemats. Nice little hostess gift if somebody's got a new home. This was another black, was a black I did. We'll st leave that down there. Thank you, my dear. This is four, four hoopings, eight inch square again, sewed them together and make yourself a pillow. You could put it on the back of a jacket. You could put it on an angle. You can do whatever you want to. You can make a wall hanging. So just kind of fun. This is called Moroccan tiles. And this one was an endless design that I hooked two together with my hoop and just kept on stitching. And so then there's only two squares here that I sewed together. So you could make long, endless designs. We've got lots of different hoops for our Vikings. We've got med uh, magnetic hoops. We've got three different endless hoops. So if I want to do the whole bottom edge of um, a skirt, or if I want to do the bottom edge of a, or the top edge of a sheet or a pillowcase or something that makes it very easy just to continually go on and, and keep going and going and going. My pant leg was two hoopings. It was four designs. This was two designs that I combined together and the bottom was two designs that I defined together. On my machine I have a, a thing called design positioning. I literally grab the stem of the bottom of the leaf and I put it right at the hemline of my pants. So I stitched it to here, grabbed that stitch, lined it back up again and let it continue on and finish up. So this was four blocks combined together on my pant leg. So it just makes kind of a fun pair of pants. It just, you know, gets fun to talk about. I just took the inside seam apart, sewed it up, sewed it back together, and got a decorator pair of pants. So you can do that on anything. I've got a dress um, that I did the whole bottom hem on using this design here. And so it looked very, very pretty too. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. You can get very, very creative with them. You know, you can, if you're, if you're like me, I'm always running in circles. Some of you know me. This is a way to kind of express my running in circles. This was an embroidered design called Mesmerize. And it's all applique. So you just kind of pop your, your colors on top of each other and, and stitch them out and away you go. So that's kind of a fun little design. It's like $25 for that design card, so it's not expensive. And it's just and it's two sizes, so um, it's kind of fun. Thank you.